of Kidney Donor Athletes. I just got done with a four hour, 20 mile run on trails out here in Evergreen, Colorado. And I just wanted to share a little bit of my journey of training for a 100K with one kidney. I get a fair amount of people that reach out and ask if it's possible. They ask about how much water I drink and how much protein I eat and things like that. So um, snippet of what today was. I was treating it like a dress rehearsal for food for my 100K that is the end of September. So today I ate mostly um, sliced watermelon that's dipped in salt. I also had uh, boiled potatoes dipped in salt. And um, I also did uh, avocado sandwiches. So avocado with vegan mayo on vegan gluten-free bread. Everything worked great. I had one gel cube towards the end just for a little extra quick sugar. Um, and then I had tailwind in my water. So about um, people asking about supplements and protein, I don't take any supplements and I don't really pay attention to how much protein I eat. Um, I naturally don't like to eat a whole ton of it anyway, so it's really not an issue um, for me. And again, no supplements. All I take is two gummy multivitamins every day and then sometimes some extra vitamin C if I'm traveling a lot, specifically in winter. But that's it. Um, the biggest difference for me in training for an ultra now with one kidney is I carry a lot more water. Um, so this is a product by Orange Mud. It's called the Endurance, Endurance Pack 2.0 and it has a bladder system in the back as well as, you know, I usually tie a jacket onto here. There's pockets back there, pockets in front, pockets up here. You know, it rides higher than most hydration vests that I've used and I love it so my back doesn't get so hot. Um, it works really great. I would never run in anything else. I love this thing. Also, the longer my runs get, I tend to do loops and have extra food and water in my car. So every loop I came back and I took a hit out of the water jug just for extra water and um, just had some extra food in a cooler so I didn't have to carry so much with me today because it was quite a bit of climbing and I didn't want to carry all that extra weight. So that is different for me and then I drink a lot more. Um, might be too much information, but I did have four pee breaks in four hours, so that's pretty much as good as I ever get it. Um, if I just go like every 90 minutes out there, I still consider that okay, but if I start going more than 90 minutes, I will take more walk breaks and really start chugging water because I know that I've gone too far without drinking enough. And the other thing is that I don't use ibuprofen ever. Um, I did rely on it pretty heavily uh, in my years before donating my kidney. So I took the whole year before my donation. So most of 2016 and spring of 2017, I didn't take any ibuprofen. And what's great is that I figured out how to manage those aches and pains of ultra running um, more naturally. So usually now living out here in Colorado, there's usually a stream I can sit in. So I will do that and treat it like an ice bath. So I'll sit there. If it's horrible, I'll only make it about seven minutes, but if it's not too bad, I'll sit in there for nine or 10 minutes. And I have so many less aches and pains doing that. Um, I'm actually about to drive back home and go sit in the creek behind my apartment for a while after that run. So that helps a lot. Um, also just things with my diet, I eat, unless I'm on vacation, I'm eating less refined sugar and I feel like I have less inflammation that way. It might just be mental, either way it's working. So um, not having ibuprofen has not been an issue. Um, so my ultra is the end of September. It's the last Saturday in September. It's 100K. Um, today was a four hour run. Next weekend is a five hour. The following weekend is a six hour run. Um, and then I have a few other buildups after that. So uh, I'll do my best to put some more information out there for people. I know when I was getting ready to donate, I was doing anything I could to find people that were ideally ultra runners that were donors that would share their process because I was so curious what it was like. And hopefully this is a favor for some of you. And uh, it helps you see that you know being a donor doesn't mean you can't run ultras. You just have to partner with your body a little better and be more hydrated. So that's really all there is to it. So thanks guys. See you later from Colorado.